Hey folks, Wes here checking in with another episode of the Vinyl Survivor. Hope everyone's doing good. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, it's Monday. It's a new week. Uh, had a pretty good weekend. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, first thing we have here is an album from Barbara Streisand. This is her album titled Superman. Came out in 1977. Interesting album from Barbara Streisand. Got a uh, inner sleeve here with some lyrics. I don't know. Apparently there were two inner sleeves with this one. They're not the same. I don't really know exactly what's going on. I guess this one is more of a poster. Ah, okay. So this one is actually a poster, not an inner sleeve. Uh, there we go. A little bit more there. And as usual, Barbara Streisand is on the Columbia label. And, you know, I just didn't, didn't really care for this one too much. Barbara Streisand, I'm not, not really a Barbara Streisand fan. I, I, can, I can deal with listening to her, but I don't, I don't love her or anything. She's just okay in my opinion. So yeah, nothing really grabbed me that much on this one, so... Not going to be keeping this one in the collection, but it was fun to listen to. You know, it was a cheap pickup somewhere. I'm sure I paid 50 cents or something for this somewhere. But not going to be staying, but uh, that's Barbra Streisand Superman. All right, next up we got an album from Diana Ross. This is just self-titled Diana from 1980. See that. She folds out. That and then the inner that way. This is on Motown Records. Of course, yeah, this was a pretty huge hit for her, and you got I'm Coming Out on here, um, Upside Down. So, a pretty big hit for Diana Ross. I am not going to be keeping this, mostly because it's dog-eared on the edge here. It's pretty. It's in pretty rough shape. Um, I didn't, I did, it's not something I absolutely have to have. If I find this again, like in really minty shape for a dollar or less somewhere, I probably would pick it up again. For now, this one's going to be going away, but it was a fun listen, yeah, enjoyable. Uh, so that was Diana Ross. All right, next up we got one from Jesse Colin Young from 1974. This is titled Light Shine. And Jesse Colin Young is a, a singer-songwriter type, really good, really Wonderful voice, wonderful songwriting, wonderful, um, wonderful everything. Sort of under one of those underappreciated singer-songwriters. Really, really good songs. Um, the fir whole first side is the Calif called California Sweet. It's a really just uh, a beautiful s side uh, of an album, and it just uh, sort of all flows together. It's a really, really enjoyable listen. Uh, there's the back side. On the uh, Warner Palm Tree label. See, so, yeah, a really nice album from Jesse Colin Young, singer songwriter, California Sweet. Uh, I'm sure that's probably on YouTube somewhere. Check that out if you're uh, interested in hearing a new singer songwriter that you maybe haven't heard before. Uh, yeah, this one's absolutely going in the collection. I love. I have. I have at least one other of his in the collection already, and some somebody I will pick up when I see for you know not much money. So that one's going in the collection. Uh, next one is a classic that I don't really have to say much about. It's uh, the debut album from Santana, 1969. Uh, showed this one all recently, one that I ended up giving to my mom for Mother's Day um, in a frame. She really likes the album art on this. Uh, this is my personal copy. It's actually not as nice as that copy, but it is still a uh, an early an early 2i Columbia pressing. So it's from either, it's either the 69 or 70 pressing of this, early pressing. And yeah, just a great classic album. I mean, I'm pretty much, pretty sure everybody has this who wants it. Uh, definitely one of those must-have albums. Awesome stuff from Santana. You know, you got a uh, uh, Evil Ways, uh, Jingo, Soul Sacrifice, uh, yeah, it's like I said, it's, it's a classic. And lastly, we've got an album here from Elton John. This is called Rock of the Westies from 1973. This one has Island Girl on it. I think that was the only uh, the only big hit on this one. Uh, and I just I like this one okay. I mean, I'm gonna be keeping it because I collect all things Elton John. But I, this was not this wasn't that good in my opinion. 
just wasn't that interesting musically to me. A little more poppy. There's the inner jacket. And then we got a sheet here with some lyrics on it. And then we have a custom label on MCA. There's Elton. And then there is the band. That's cool. So yeah, that's just another quick episode of the Vinyl Survivor. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, three made it. Two didn't this time. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope everyone's doing well. hope everyone is enjoying good music. And we'll see you again real soon. Cheers.